I believe for this model we're going to, instead of using the, uh, the regular uh, paintbrush, I think what we're going to do is the airbrush. Um, I, I really like the, the uniformity of the airbrush. I can definitely get the uniformity with, with the brush, but the airbrush for me is just fun. I, I just, I love, I, I love the, the end result. Uh, it just seems a little smoother. Although, like I said, you can still get the brush smooth, especially if you know how to mix your paints correctly. But the airbrush is just just fun, and, and, and I, it's uh, it's me. I like it. Anyway, let's get to it. Here we go. Simplest paint job you'll ever do. It, we're gonna do straight uh, black, right, uh, and maybe some silver for the swords, and a little bit of red highlight here and there for some insignias and we will use rubber for the highlight and, and that's about it and he will be done and then a, you know of course a quick base but other than that phew, simplest paint job in the world all right let's get to it for the first color we're going to hit it up with black for the simplest paint job in the world so for the black we're using i'm going to use pro krill uh coal black and i'm going to use a drop or two of the airbrush thinner to thin it out to to make the transition smoother it just comes out a little smoother and I'll probably have to spray it more than once maybe maybe two just to get the nice coverage but this is the way to go you can use this straight into the pot of the airbrush and, and it'll work terrific but I, I like to go with the layering that's just more my style and more my my comfort zone so that's what we're gonna do so a drop or two of the airbrush thinner and a drop or two possibly you know one-to-one -one of, of the cold black and that's how we're gonna do it so let's do it let's do it and let's do it and let's do it how many times can I say let's do it anyway let's get to it all right so first for the uh, for the airbrush we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna do uh, a, a drop or two as you can see it's even hard to see there's not much in there just a little bit just enough to do a little mixing and then we're gonna take the black and boop, one, two. That's it, right? We're gonna wipe that off, close the lid here, and what I will do is I have a little stir stick that I like to use to mix the paint up and, and the airbrush thinner. So there we go, it's a nice, really thin consistency, I like that. It makes it great for layering. All right, rinse that out, there we go. I did another layer off the camera, and just real light, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy. Just a quick, simple little coat. So, I used all the paint I used was what you saw me put in a second ago. Was a, a couple drops of the airbrush there and a couple drops of the Pro Krill Coal Black. Uh, we did that, and and that's all we needed to finish him up, right? Simplest paint job in the world. Now we're just going to do some simple highlights, uh, probably gray here and there. He, the only color he has on him are some red insignias, I believe on the shoulder, maybe a piece on the sword, and maybe a little bit on his chest. And, and we'll, we'll get to that a little later. But what I wanna do now is get to the highlights. Actually, I'll probably do the metal work. What I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna mix coal black with, with silver to give it a black. Cause everything, his blades are black, his visor is black, but you know, he's got metal, they're metallic. So we're gonna try and give it that metallic sheen. All right, let's do it. The metal work we're gonna be doing, are obviously we're gonna be doing the blades. There's two of them. His visor is metallic. He's got some metallic grenades on his front and a couple little metallic pieces here and there that we wanna give that, that metallic sheen to. And, and, and it's real simple. We're just gonna mix these two colors. Oh, that's gray. We don't want gray. Where'd the black go? Sorry, there's the cold black. So these two, a real light mixture, one to one probably, uh, just to give it the black look. All right, so whoop, focus, focus. There we go. Pretty cool little model. Snake eyes. There we go. I think we fixed fixed the background. I just used a a, a black uh, canvas board that I had. That, that seems to help a lot. That'll, that'll let it focus only on the model. All right. Good to go. You know, I thought I was going to mix the uh, the metal w with the black, and I may on a couple little areas. But I I, I started looking at uh, some photos or some some drawings of Snake Eyes, 
it's actually a, it's silver it's a silver color so I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the silver color and then maybe I'll do a, a dark wash over it just to dull it down I, I think we'll do that instead of mixing the black with the silver I, I think I think that's gonna work out a little nicer and, and it'll be more true to what I'm seeing I, I, matter of fact I'll show you what I'm looking at here let's zoom out there's the snake eyes see see how he's got a little silver there and that blade is silver as well I thought it was a black silver but it, it's a silver so we're gonna just do straight silver on the buckles and, and a few places now the visor I may mix with the black because that doesn't seem silver that seems more of a, a black silver anyway that, that that's that's the picture that that's what I'm going off of uh, for my for my model so there it is Well, I think that's it for the silver work. Uh, pretty simple. Like I said, this is the simplest paint job in the world. So we did the we airbrushed the black. I used a brush and I painted on the uh, the dark aluminum for the sword, the visor, and a couple buckles here and there, and his grenades, which I'm gonna darken up with a a, a black shade, maybe some noon oil, maybe we'll see. But I'm gonna darken them up so they're not so so vivid because they're, they're his stuff's kind of tinted black a little bit so we're gonna go there and then I think next we're gonna do a little bit of highlighting now on on the armor with some some dark gray I think I'll be using some German gray first oh, where we go where is it yeah, yeah German gray to get it dark and then I'll come back with a little bit of a uh, little, little bit of uh, cold gray or dark warm gray and uh, we'll go from there all right so here we go I've got the German gray down and as you can see it's very very subtle but it does give it a nice believe it or not it does give it some uh, some dark recesses and it gives it some shadowy looks and, and just what we want just a little bit of lights hitting that black we know how black just absorbs light but here we want it to show all right now we're gonna try uh, a little bit of rubber mixed with the gray the German gray I mixed a little bit of uh, rubber um, with the uh, with the German gray, so this this will probably stand out a little bit. Let's give it a shot. Yep, there it is. We want to do these in the higher areas than than the other one. So just real subtle. Yeah, this is nice. A little bit on the head. That'll fade in a little bit. Let's get those knuckles. This part up here, just the high areas. It's gonna give it depth. It's gonna give it some actual color on that black. Once that dries, it'll it'll go matte. Up. Yep. On the top of the shoe. All right. That's about it. There you go. Hey, like and subscribe. Really helps support the channel. Thanks. All right, there it is. That's with the rubber and the German gray highlight. You can see them now. They're making this model stand out. Now, when we go back with the real simple, very washed out, watered down wash, excuse me, I have a tube or a paintbrush on now. 
it, it's gonna it's gonna look right. It's gonna dull those down a little bit. But now I'm actually gonna go back with a little bit of straight rubber. I may even go rubber highlight. We'll see. Very subtle. Very um, just a very high high spots just to give a little pop. So let's go ahead and do that. Straight rubber. Straight rubber. I should water this down just a tad. All right. Now, let's start with let's start with his knuckles just to be safe, right? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, right there. Boom, right there. Right there. Just the high spots, just real subtle, nothing crazy. Just a dot, right? Just to give it a pop. Right, there we go. Right on the edge. Yep. And like I said, a wash will make that really nice. Real simple, just the high areas. I keep saying the high areas because it's very important you stay on the high areas, especially when you're going with black and gray, because you don't want to saturate it. And he's actually getting a little bit, a little too bright for me, but again, that wash is going to save me and we'll bring it back down. So I think that's about it. I'm not going to go too much further here. There we go. Yeah, that's looking really nice. I think that's good. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some wash and tone down uh, basically the whole model. All right, we're gonna use the uh, the noon oil here. I have it in a little thing here. Um, this is the new the new consistency, the new noon oil. I I'm not a fan of it. I like the older better. This is real watered down and light, but you know it's what we've got and it's what we're gonna use. So actually, it being watered down a little bit is good. It's it doesn't seem like a wash anymore. It seems more like of a, a, a just a, a, a watered down contrast paint, which is horrible. Anyway, it's what we got and that's what we're gonna use. So let's check it out. I'll get these for now. Yeah, see, it's just yeah, we're gonna have to go a couple. couple passes on this. It's definitely darkening it down. That looks really nice. Hard to see on the camera I think but it's definitely dulling it down. Pull these blades. Yeah that's much better. We'll just keep it simple for now. First pass. Oop. Focus. There we go. Not too shabby. All right, here we go. Th this is the uh, the old Nun oil. This is the old formula. Uh, the new formulas. Uh, I'm not a f big fan. It's kind of like I said. It's watered down. It's it's grayish. It's 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 almost tacky. It, it's weird. But I, I really like this, man. If I could get my hands, if anybody knows where I can get a hand, my hands on some of this old noon oil, uh, please, please let me know. Leave a comment in the, in below, because th this is way better than this this new formula here. This is junk. This is good. Let me know what you think about that. T if anybody has any experience with the old and the new uh, uh, noon oil shade, uh, let me know. Leave a comment below. All right, but anyway, we're gonna. We're gonna go ahead and hit the hit the the visor and the silver areas with this old shade. Uh, I, I really, I really like. Look at that. You see that? Matter of fact, let's open the other one up real quick. Shake it up, so I, so see if you can tell the difference. See it? See how gray? See how goopy that is? See, this is more of a shade. This here. This is junk. Anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, let's get this on there. Take a little dip. I'm going to water it down just a little bit. Get some of that. 
Water it down, watering it down. Sorry, I'm not in camera there. All right, I gotta watch the, move this. I don't wanna spill that, that's all I got left. So let's check it out on, the, on these grenades, watch this. Wow. It, it, that, that's it, that darkened it down. That's just where I need it. Right, and let's go across the visor. There we go. Nice. Nice, that'll dry real nice too. A little pass on the grenades, a little bump on the back here, right here. Now, let's uh, let's get those blades. Yeah, look at that. See? That's more what I'm talking about. Alright. There we go. Much better results. I, I'm much happier with the old formula. Now we got to get to the red. There, there, there's going to be some red right here on this blade handle a little bit. And he's also going to have a little bit of red right here. It's staying out of focus there. Right here. So let's get that. Check out the blade handle here. That's it. Now we will get the other blade handle right here because we want it to be visible. Real simple, real subtle. Alright. And now we need to get it right here on his chest. Right there. All right, uh, all we have left is the base. Let's take a look at, at, at our color palette and our wet palette that we used. Let's let's see the colors. That's it. Black, gray, rubber, red, with a little bit of nun oil wash. All right, let's get that base on. There you have it, guys. Uh, snake eyes. Uh, we, we got we got them done. The easiest paint job in the world. Um, we used we used black. We used gray. We used maybe a lighter gray, and then we used a smidge of red, right? Uh, just for just for some of the little details here. 
uh, he's got an insignia, and he's got a couple of things on the swords there. So we got that done. So guys, thanks for thanks for watching uh, on that. But also stay tuned. We've got Gung Ho coming up. We've got Junkyard Mutt coming up, and we've got a whole gang uh, of the GI Joe that we're going to be working on at the beginning of the year. So stay tuned for that, uh, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll catch you next week.